Vibes from the south Storming along the shoreline Those who were right Came here with nothing more than dreams We are just getting everything ready to take off. It's about four in the morning but the conditions are pretty calm right now. We have like a nice break while on our east. Should be easy enough getting out of here. And then we can hopefully make it to Grand Bahamas. Fingers crossed. As a lot of you know, our last big sail day when we crossed the Gulf Stream to Bimini didn't go so well. So this time I am preparing food in a much different way. I prepped us each a drink with electrolytes as well as another large bottle of plain water. And then we had saltines and ginger candy to snack on. We're leaving Bimini and making our way towards the Abacos, but we're not quite ready to do an overnight sail yet. So we're making a couple stops along the way. Our first stop will be the Grand Bahamas. Honestly feeling a lot more prepared than we were last time. Although like I felt prepared last time, but I don't think I knew what I needed. We yet. didn't know what we were getting into. We already have four bottles of water going, <laughs> so we don't have to try to go inside to get water, getting more seasick. Brought out crackers, we brought out, you know, I got my change of clothes ready for when it gets hot, like we got everything. So How let's get feeling? going. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm feeling good. Pretty excited to get out there, fingers crossed it's going better than last time. This was our first time getting the sails out in the dark. Last time we took off at night, we waited until the sun came out to get the sails up and turn off the engine. It wouldn't be so bad, but someone has to go on top of our hardcover to get the main sail up, and that can be a little scary to do at night. We have been tying up to our safety line every time we leave the cockpit underway. I'm also proud of us for learning from our mistakes and keeping more tensions on the line as we brought out the Genoa. Now that I'm not so scared to be in the open water, this is actually a little bit fun. <laughs> absolute favorite part of setting sail while it's still dark out is getting to watch the sunrise at sea. It's finally daylight. Uh, feels much better than having to sail kind of in the darkness. So the winds were supposed to be like a little more east, um, but they're coming in to like slightly northeast, which is kind of a pain for us because it means we're sailing a little bit more northwest than we want to because um, we need to go basically northeast. We can't sail into the wind. Right now we're just kind of like going where we can go. Um, there was a moment this morning where I was like getting frustrated and was like, that's it, we're just gonna go back to Florida. <laughs> but we didn't actually want to do that. Um, we want to go up to the Bahamas, uh, or Grand Bahamas, so we can get over to the Abacos. But overall, it's not too bad. It's uh, quite bumpy, but I think um, we're feeling okay so far. And our wind's like not too bad. Um, we're cooking usually like five to seven knots. So hopefully we can get there uh, while it's still daylight. It's the same old story being told inside my head. I'm too shy to straighten up my bones and be a man. I gotta tear this world So we're heading more in the right direction that we need to go. I was a little worried because we were going a little too northeast. Now we're heading mostly um, towards Grand Bahamas Island. Woo! Woo! I like these little ginger candies way better than I like the candy ginger. Um, it's like a little less spicy. So far we've eaten a sleeve of saltine crackers between the two of us. No one's thrown up though. No one's thrown up though. And it's been a little rocky, but I think between the medicine and just like taking it easy, having water, we're doing good. Unfortunately, 
luckily we're like not moving in the right direction enough that we need to be. Um, the winds were supposed to shift to be heading from the east, but they're still coming from the northeast, and I just feel like we're it's gonna be like dark by the time we get there, unless we actually um, get moving. So we're gonna flip on the engine and maybe just try to motor sail for a little bit, see if we can have the engine going and pick up a little wind on the sails, but we kind of have to see. We flipped on the engine, but because we were going straight into the wind, we had to bring the sails back in, which was super frustrating because we didn't want to be motoring in the first place, but the weather just never shifted. On the bright side, our lines didn't get crossed and we had no issues getting the sails back in this time. Don't know what went in this time. The situation was pretty brutal because our autopilot had us riding straight up a wave and then slamming down into the next one. No, oh, don't fake. Don't fake look happy at me. I was getting a video of how crabby you are. Yeah, well, motoring straight into giant waves is not the way I like to sail. Patrick is hand steering so that we. Ugh aren't getting hit as brutally with the waves, which he's doing a great job at. Thank you, love. <laughs> that was comedic timing, though. <laughs> it's been a frustrating day. And kind of testing our patience. I mean, it's just a really, really long day of uh, being out here. And since both of us deal with motion sickness, we're both kind of trapped out here in the cockpit doing nothing but being out here, so long long day but eventually this day will be over and how wonderful will that be are you excited for the day to be over love yes <laughs> we decided to take turns hand steering as it was way easier to manage the waves if we turned about five degrees port every time we hit the top of a wave so we could cruise down at a slight angle the waves were a lot to manage though so we switched off every 30 minutes to make sure we could take a break Basically, we're probably not gonna get there till like 10 or 11 at night, if we're lucky. So we're moving so slowly with this current and this wind. So, both just super frustrated and exhausted, but at least nobody has thrown up. So, you know, there's something good out of the day. Because of the wind and current, we were only moving at about two knots. Typically while motoring, we comfortably get up to about five knots, which is around the hull speed of Talia. On a good sailing day, we average anywhere from five to seven knots, but today was not our day. Just one of those days. 
Um, but yeah, it's not gonna be fun to have to do this in the dark. We didn't catch all of these emotions on camera, but it was almost like we were jumping around the stages of grief. We would be fine and have a positive outlook one minute and then screaming into the void the next. We just weren't getting anywhere and it was incredibly frustrating. I think that's kind of the problem with having expectations, especially when it comes to timeframes and sailing. We were expecting an easier day, around 12 to 13 hours, but that's not what we ended up having. And that expectation is where our frustration came from. But in the moment, you're not really thinking critically or rationally, you're just there. And the water may be beautiful, but she does nothing to distract you from your own mind. I think part of it was the fear of anchoring in a new place at night for the first time. We specifically left early enough that we wouldn't have to do that, but fate had other plans. Accidental, you have a new milestone of uh, our first sunset. pretty dark down here but our wind or not our wind but our speed picked up a little bit and hopefully we only have like another two two and a half hours left of this um, and we are so ready to be done but we were worried the vlog was gonna be too boring um, so I guess the universe found a way to make it a little more exciting by sunset we accepted our reality and with our calmness, the water also calmed and we picked up speed to around four knots. This day ended up being about 19 hours. We left at 4 a.m. and anchored at 11 p.m. Okay, we are anchored. It seems set, seems dug in, everything's good. We got our alarm on. I just came inside for the first time and look at our toilet. <laughs> the toilet seat came off during this. Also the sink got, I don't know what all this black gunk is. I promise it was not that dirty this morning. Mirror is also covered in salt. So I'm guessing that this hatch is the reason the sink is so dirty. <laughs> Brand new day. Yesterday was a little bit much, but Today's looking up. I think we're just gonna stay at this anchorage that we're at. Should be pretty protected from the winds. Got good holding, but our fuel tank's kind of low. And unfortunately, the fuel dock uh, is getting blasted by the wind. So it would probably be pretty easy to get on, but it would be kind of tough to get off, especially with like the amount of experience we have getting on and off fuel docks. So I recognize that I'm being kind of a baby, but we're gonna instead use jerry cans to fill up the tank and then go refill them on the dinghy. And at first I was kind of like, well, how am I gonna do this? I don't actually know if we have like a hose or a siphon or anything. Um, so I messaged the previous owner, Casper, and he was like, look exactly in this spot and you should find like a 12 volt pump. Uh, that is how I would do it. And it was exactly there. So absolute hero moment from Casper. Uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna start getting some fuel in.
o'clock and I can finally see some land. So it makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> 